everybody, this is Jen from Cookies, Cupcakes, and Cardio.com. I have little mini cola bottles, and I have giant gummy cola bottles. Check these out, they're wiggly. And these are cola bottles too, they're all made out of gummies, they're absolutely giant, they're delicious. I'm gonna show you how to make three different versions. We're gonna do rainbow, we're gonna do jello, and we're going to do like a regular one where you just use the soda pop. Let's get started on this really cool tutorial. So to make our giant gummy bottles, we're going to be using 24 packs of gelatin. Now each of the bottles is going to require eight packs, which is going to be 56 grams. So we're going to be using 500 milliliter bottles. I have Coca-Cola, 500 milliliters of A&W root beer, and I also have 500 milliliters of strips of Sprite. You can use any kind of pop that you want to though. Now for the Jello bottle, I'm going to be using two packs of the 85 gram lime Jello to make the Sprite bottle. And to make the rainbow bottle, I'm going to be using 300 milliliters of sweetened condensed milk. And then to color it, I'm gonna be using some gel coloring. And I've got red, blue, um, and orange and yellow here to mix together to make lots of different colors. So I'm going to work on our root beer gummy bottle first. So all I have to do is take the top off. There you go, hear that nice fizzle. And then I want to get rid of most of this carbonation. So I'm just pouring it here into the bowl and I'm gonna let the bowl set aside while I go about uh, finishing and like prepping the bottle and like kind of getting everything else ready. And in order to kind of uh, decrease that amount of carbonation, you can stir it up a lot, whisk it up a lot, and you can even heat it a little bit, which we're going to be doing afterwards too. So just set this aside. So I've got my bottle here and I have a very sharp X-Acto knife and I'm going to use it to be cutting. So make sure you're careful if you're using an X-Acto knife. And I'm just going to cut very, just gently press into the label here. Just wanna get enough that it's going to peel off. And you wanna keep the label and you wanna keep the lid. And obviously we're using the bottle. And cause we're gonna put the label back onto the gummies to make them really look legit here. So you're just gonna keep on pulling here and Perfect, set that aside. Now again with my X-Acto knife, I'm going to make a really small slit right in here. It doesn't matter about this stuff, you can take it off if you want to. Um, and I'm just going to make it probably be about, I don't know, an inch, inch and a half. Just pushing in there really gently. And then I'm moving up there like that. It's about an inch, inch and a half. Now that's going to help me be able to cut the bottle open after I have the gummy made. So in order to seal that, I have duct tape here. So I'm just gonna make sure my duct tape goes completely over the cut, like that, press that over. And I found that the more you put on, the better. So just keep that in mind. So you wanna do at least three or even four pieces. So I'm gonna put my third piece on and then the bottle will be ready. So here I have 100 milliliters of water and my gelatin here. So again, it's eight packages or 56 grams. And I also have my root beer here and I heated it up in the microwave to make sure that it's hot because the hotter that um, your products are at this point, the easier the gelatin is going to combine. So I'm going to take my water first and I'm going to pour it into my gelatin just like that. And now my water is really close to boiling. That's the easiest part to get boiling. So I'm just going to keep stirring this. Now, if your water isn't hot enough, it the gelatin won't dissolve completely. And also because there is so much gelatin in this mixture, it's gonna be really thick to begin with. So you can just heat it up in the microwave for like 30 seconds or even a minute. So I'm just going to slowly stir this together until it all combines and the gelatin dissolves. So with my gelatin combined with my water, I'm going to pour it into our root beer mixture. And again, once you've got this all together and into your container here, it doesn't look that tasty, nor I do have to tell you, does gelatin smell very good? But uh, lucky for you, you guys can't smell that. But if you make it yourself, um, once it's it mixed into the root beer completely and when you actually taste your gummy bottle, you can't taste the gelatin at all. So don't worry about that. Just have to put up with the smell very briefly. So I'm just gonna mix this like this until it's all combined. And again, if I have any chunks of gelatin, I'm just gonna heat this whole thing up in the microwave for like 30 seconds or a minute again. 
So we've got our mixture ready. I just transferred it to a container with a little spout. I'm going to take it and pour my mixture into the bottle using a funnel. And once I've got this completely filled up, you want to fill it up all the way to the top and you're going to put the lid on once it's at the top and then you're going to either put it into the freezer for one hour or you're going to put it into the fridge for about at least three hours and i'm just getting going really slow now that i'm at the top because i don't want to have a big disaster now your duct tape should seal and if a little bit comes out it's no big deal um, you might get a little bit of drippage but it should be fine with the duct tape sealing it so i'm just going to finish this off here and then I'm going to pop the lid on and put it into the freezer. So we're on to our second version. Now this is going to be the Jello version. So I'm using Sprite. You could also use like Orange Crush or like cream soda, something that's bright and colorful that will match a um, color of Jello. So again, what I have to do is get the um, pop out of the bottle and I'm just pouring it this time into my measuring cup because I'm going to put this straight into the microwave because I want it to be really hot. So it's probably going to go to be like three minutes or until it's boiling. So whatever your microwave does. And I need to make sure I prep my bottle just like I did in the root beer version. So I've heated my Sprite up nice and hot. I have my lime jello here in this big bowl and my regular gelatin here. And I'm just pouring that into the bowl. I'm going to use my whisk to whisk it together just to mix it in. I just find that when you add the jello with the gelatin, it mixing it first helps the gelatin combine a little bit better and be less chunky. So I'm just doing mixing that together there. Now I'm going to take my hot water Sprite here, pour that in just like this. And then just like we did with the root beer, I'm just going to stir this until all the gelatin has dissolved. Our final step for our Sprite Jello bottle is again to pour it into the funnel, into the bottle. And then once I've got this all filled all the way up to the top, I'm going to put the lid on and pop it into the fridge or the freezer. So again, the freezer for about an hour and the fridge for about at least three hours. So we're going to move on to our third and final pop bottle now. So for our last bottle, I'm going to be using a Coke bottle and I'm not actually going to be using the Coke. So I'm going to be pouring it into a bottle or to a glass here and you can just enjoy this yourself. I'm going to prep my bottle here and then I will show you what ingredients you need for the rainbow bottle. So after I've prepped my bottle, I have boiled 450 milliliters of water. I have my gelatin in my bowl and I have my condensed milk ready to go. So I'm just going to pour some of my, uh, my water here. I'm not going to pour all of it right away because I just want to give it a chance to kind of incorporate without too much water. It'll be a little bit less, um, you know, like less chance for there to be big giant chunks and stuff in here. So I'm just going to work this slowly. Again, the hotter your water is or like the, the pop from before, the easier the gelatin is going to dissolve into it. So it's coming along pretty nicely there like this. So I'm just going to pour the rest in now and pour that in. There goes the water and stir that up like this. And then I'm going to add in my condensed milk, pour this in. So what this is going to do is this is going to make it almost be like a pudding. So this is going to be nice and sweet. We're going to add the color to this mixture, just getting it all in here. And we're going to divide it into little bowls and it's going to be a delicious little gummy, kind of like a pudding gummy, this one. So I've separated out 100 milliliters of the mixture and I'm going to make the first color purple, but you can again do whatever you want to. So I'm using a little bit of blue and then a little bit of red to make the purple like that. I'm just going to stir it around and then this is going to go in the pop bottle as the first color. Stirring, stirring, stirring here. There we go. Like that. And then I'm going to put this into the bottle and I'm going to just turn it kind of like on an angle like this, just so it goes down the side. So I'm pouring it like that. And then when I put it into the freezer, I'm going to leave it so it's leaning on its side like this. And I'm going to put it in there for about 25 to 30 minutes 
before I put my next color in. So I'm just going to leave it kind of like that in the freezer. So I had another bottle that I swapped out with the purple already set. Now I've also made a little bit of the blue color with 100 milliliters. So I'm going to show you this next color addition and how to do it. And then you're just going to repeat what we did for the blue and the purple all the way up to the top of the bottle until you get to red or whatever colors you want to include in your rainbow pop bottle here. So I'm just pouring that blue in there again on an angle, just like that. So you just want to work slowly and carefully and get it all in there and then like that i'm going to pop it on the lid on pop that into the freezer for another 25 to 30 minutes and then i'm going to repeat with all of the remaining colors so i've got all the bottles in the fridge and my one that i made out of jello is ready i just find the ones with the jello it has that extra gelatin it sets a little bit quicker so i'm going to take my knife and into that little slit where i um, originally cut I'm just going to take my knife, kind of work it in there. And again, this is pretty sharp, so be careful when you're cutting this. Try not to slice my hand off. That'd be a lovely tutorial, wouldn't it be? And so I'm just working around like this, really gently. And you can see there is a little bit of leakage in my bottle, but it doesn't make a big, a big deal in that cut. So like that. And then I'm just going to carefully see, so I can't quite get it. So you don't want to force it or it's going to break. So again, you want to take your, um, little knife or your exacto that I'm using here and you just want to keep working away really gently until you can get enough of res like the resistance removed in order to be able to get this out. So I'm just going to keep working around here. Again, I can't stress enough how careful you have to be at this part. Just working away. I'm just trying to get it to be like really loose here. And if you're finding that your um, pop is sticking and you want to try it again, try a little bit of nonstick spray inside your bottle. That helps a lot too. So it's going pretty good now, but you know, I'm almost all the way around. So I'm just going to carefully pull these back and ta-da, that part's out. Okay. So now we are working on the top. So you want to take your top off and then again, just repeat this process. Watch out for your hand. Go all the way down. Try not to cut your bottle. And keep going, keep going. It's pulling away already, so I might be lucky. Yep, there we go. So there we go. How cool is that? We've got a gummy bottle. So what we need to do now is get our wrapper, clean up this kind of like little stuff that's left over, and I'll show you the finished products next. So there you go everybody, how to make these huge giant gummy soda pop bottles. Now I also did an orange crush one and I did that with the jello as well and I used orange jello. I've got my root beer one out here, my Sprite one with jello, and I have the rainbow Coca-Cola bottle. So I want to see what you guys make. Let me know in the comments which kind of pop you would turn into a giant gummy. What's your favorite kind of pop? Let me know in the, in the comments. Make sure you subscribe to the channel so you can stay up to date on all of our newest videos and you'll be the first to know as they hit your subscription feed. Thanks so much for watching. See you guys next time.